All right, what is up, guys? It's your boy Will back with another video today. Hope you guys are doing good. In this video, I'll be talking about Digital World Acquisition Corporation and I'll be talking about Funware, okay? So the first one will be DWAC and then the second one will be Funware, ticker symbol P U H N. The first one we'll talk about will be uh, Digital World Acquisition. We'll go over the 90 day, 30 minute chart to put some all new levels on here. We'll go over the five day, five minute chart to let you guys know why this went up. You always want to know why it went up and how can we play it, okay? So let's go ahead and get into it. Make sure you guys smash that like button, subscribe if you are new, and make sure you check out the video right before this one. And then uh, let's go ahead and get into it. So smash the like button, subscribe, willknowledge.com. Make sure you get the Will Knowledge merch, okay? Don't forget about that. Make sure you get the merch. And then uh, the video before this one is on SoFi, okay? So very, very important levels on SoFi. Make sure you check that out. We had old levels here, okay, for DWAC. The old level around 64 cents was a resistance level. What was the high of this run? Look how beautiful that hit 60. Let's get in closer so you can appreciate. Look how beautiful that hit 64 after hours. What happened after hit 64? Boom, sell off, okay? That is what I like to see. So let's go ahead and clear the chart. And then I'll just pull up the news on here. We don't need to um, pull it up on the other app. Basically, it just says, reports says Trump's truth social media app to launch February 21st, okay? That's the main reason why this went up. He's supposed to launch it February 21st. So with that being said, it can be a lot of this, okay? Because you want to buy the rumors, sell the news. So there can be a lot of plays before that actual date, okay? I'm pretty sure it's going to lead up to some type of hype uh, before that actual date comes in, okay? So we'll, I'll be paying attention to that. So th just let me know if you guys do want updates on uh, DWAC and also on Funware. And I'll update you guys like every two days or three days or so, okay? So with Funware, this is a 90-day, 30-minute chart. Good buying pressure, hit the resistance level. I still want the resistance level to hit during normal hours, okay? So we're gonna still put a resistance level at 65. That is still something that we need to see. So 65, let's put it right there, okay? That's the resistance level that we wanna see. Buying level, I would say is around 56, 55. I'll put it at 55, 50, right in the middle. It is pulling back after hours. So that's something that you wanna be mindful of as well right here okay so that's a buying level that i'm kind of looking out for right now on dwac it closed around six dollars 27 cents and it's pulling back to around 58.80 okay i do think there might be a continuation play tomorrow i'll be very busy tomorrow so i don't think i'll have time to trade tomorrow i have a lot of meetings and stuff but i'll see if i can get some scalp ins on dwac if you look at where dwac came from it came from around 48 dollars or so it's been there for like weeks at a time it's really been at 48 since like october okay just kind of been trading around that 50 48 level and from that 48 to where it closed it went up about 23 percent. so it wasn't actually a big enough move and it can get a continuation okay i'm looking for maybe a 40 percent or so run so probably double that so probably around like 70 80 is somewhere i'll be looking for but what i really want to happen is i want to see pullback as it's pulling back okay I don't want it to go up. I want it to pull back first so we can get our entry, okay? And then once we enter, we'll look to exit half at that resistance level at 65. So that'll already be about a 17% gain entering around 55.50. We exit at 65 for a 17% gain. And then the other half, we can let run, okay? We already took profits. Pretty sure we can make these shares free. We'll do a little trick to kind of make the shares free and then just kind of let it ride, okay? So just make sure you're in a Discord room. We do have VIP and regular signals. If you want to know what I'm buying and selling for options and shares, make sure you join that. There's link in the description is also pinned in the comments. And then there we'll uh, kind of maneuver through it. But these are the main two levels I'm looking for DWAC. If it is not shown buying pressure at that 55, 50 level, then it could be closer to $50 that buying pressure comes in. But right now I just kind of want to watch this so we have less levels to look at, okay? So that is for DWAC. Now for fun where ticker symbol P-H-U-N, ticker symbol P-H-U-N. 
I did have some old levels on here for resistance. Let me zoom out to show you real quick. Old levels right here for resistance. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and clear the chart. The new resistance level. Oh, it kind of already hit a resistance. I would say the new resistance uh, could be around like $3.40. That will also be an exit. So looking to exit half at that $3.40 mark. Let's go ahead and put that. Okay, $3.40. Before I give you the buying level, we need we need to know where price came from. Price came from around like $2.50 or so. So it went up about 23%. Exactly the same percentage that DWAC went up. Having that pullback after hours, which is good. We want to see some type of pullback because we don't want to be buying at high prices. And you also don't want to be chasing price. Okay, buying now. Oh, what happened? Buying now is chasing price. Okay, we need pullback. So don't be too eager yet. Now, the difference between fundware and digital acquisition is, if you stayed this long in a video, I will be going heavier on fundware because fundware has a bigger buying level. Okay. Bigger buying level on Funware, going heavier on Funware. The buying level is, drum roll please, $2.90. $2.90 doo 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 is why I'm looking for that pullback. If you look where it is after hours right now, it's about $3.299. So all we need is about a $0.10, cents pullback. That is it. If we can get that and buying pressure shows, oh man, oh man, I will go heavy there, okay? Looking to exit half about three dollars and forty cents, so that's about seventeen percent gain. So same percentage gain, um, same percentage gain like on DWAC. I'll just be going heavier on Funware. So right now these are the main two levels that I am kind of watching. With these buying levels, you always want to make sure that buying pressure confirms. Okay, you always want to make sure buying pressure confirms. We don't just buy because the levels hit. That's why I say make sure you're in the Discord room. So I can confirm those levels for you guys because we have a chat room where we talk in the markets every day. OK, also volume is very high. OK, usually when volume spikes like this, there's usually a continuation the next day. That's why I'm looking for the play. Even on DWAC, let's check DWAC real quick. Yeah, DWAC is a little different. OK, that's why I'm playing Funware bigger, because usually when Funware has a bigger spike uh, in volume like that, it usually continues about the next day. So I had a bigger spike, continue the next day. This was a bigger spike, but it's on a downward movement. Okay, this is more of an upper movement. Bigger spike right here, continue next day, bigger spike, continued. So I am looking for that continuation of a lot of volume, a lot of pressure. I do want to pull back first, get that entry, but I think we should be good to go as long as those buying levels confirm. Okay, so hope you guys enjoyed this video. Always remember, no recommendation to buy or sell anything. This is for educational purposes only. So do not trade anything you see or hear in the video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.